Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Steve Sherrod from On Semiconductor. And behind us, we have a little demonstration of a security camera being moved around. Steve, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what we're showing here. So what we have here is we have two different, different demonstration units from two different divisions of On Semiconductor. We have the, the matrix cam, which is from our ISG group that make the camera modules. And then we have a dual stepper motor driver that uh, basically is, is able to drive two different motors at the same time with micro steps, such that you can pan and tilt for the security industry. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit, little bit about the semiconductor technology that goes into those. Well, the, obviously the camera is a low-cost CMOS image sensor, um, and it's ideally suited for um, anything like security cameras, vehicles, your backup camera in your vehicles, it's all the same CMOS technology. Mm -hmm. And then the, the dual stepper motor, that's a CMOS uh, drive technology, and basically we've been able to miniaturize the IC so that it's the lowest power on the market. I see. And is there um, any uh, limitations in terms of the slew rate or other per motor parameters that, that enter into things when you use that chip? The, um, the motor driver is uh, 256 micro steps. Uh, so therefore it's able to, to basically pan very slowly if you want to or as fast as you want depending on how many steps you, you, you pulse it at. I see. And what about the, um, the size of the motors you can drive with this thing? Uh, typically these are, are not large motors because uh, it's got the built-in drivers so it can drive up to 500 milliamps. Um, if you wanted to drive something a lot larger then obviously you'd have to use that as a drive and put MOSFETs into something a bit bigger. Of course. Um, what are the typical applications for the, those chips? Uh, well the, the main one is the security camera business because yeah. They, you know, the security camera want the pan and tilt function, and so that's primarily the what it was developed for. Okay, so not super high speed. Motion. Not super high speed. No, I mean, typically when you're following somebody, you know, that's that's all you want. Um, the motor driver can also be used in a in a smart camera where you might have um, a lens adjustment as well as a focus adjustment, and so those stepper motors can be used for that as well. Yeah. Steve, that's pretty interesting technology, so thanks for taking us through it. Thank you.